Hello again, DB here. Uh, this is March 28th, 2013. It's uh, Thursday evening. Um, I just wanted to make a quick little video tonight. Um, talk about uh, something I've just recently noticed uh, in uh, the mainstream, lamestream, mainstream news reporting is how they are inserting the words uh, wake up uh, before they talk about uh, a, a, a specific news article or story or whatever they're reporting on, uh, the meaningless junk that they put out. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't pay too much attention to the TV news. or, or Once in a while, uh, I'll listen to talk radio uh, news and commentary, but but I've just recently noticed in the last few weeks, I don't know, three weeks, maybe a month, that uh, they are using the word awake or wake up. You know, they keep saying, well, people better wake up or wake up like it's something new to them, uh, which is kind of laughable in my opinion, that, uh, I mean, it's a blatant attempt <laughs> for them to keep the sheep on the reservation, in my opinion, uh, because uh, they use that buzzword, and uh, then they go on to report the same garbage that they put out all along, and have been, uh, in the past and present, and will in the future, I'm sure. But it just, I, I don't know, has anyone else noticed that? Uh, happening or being the case uh, wherever you pick up your news media uh, information um, it just I don't know I just find that as odd it's definitely an attempt to uh, present the news in a in a way that it's something new uh, to the people that are still inserted in the matrix so to speak they uh you know, the sheeple, they just, they don't get it, they, they can't get it, uh, and this is just another attempt to keep them confined in that matrix of, uh, you know, the scripted information that they put out, and they, the stuff they pass off for news items. Uh, it just really baffles me. But I just recently noticed that. Um, another topic I'd like to touch on a little bit is the... Uh, recent Supreme Court cases that they're hearing regarding the marriage uh, definition of marriage um, and the Proposition 8 that, that was passed in California and uh, litigated on. But uh, yeah, I don't know what you all think about about that, but I'm a firm believer that you know, marriage is between between one man and one woman. Uh, it's always been that way, to my knowledge. And uh, this is an attempt to uh, degrade the moral fabric of our nation uh, farther uh, than it already has gone. Um, in my opinion, there again, you know, everyone each to your own. But uh, you know, to me, it's it's a sin. Um, there's no fruitful outcome to a, a marriage between homosexuals or lesbian couples. Uh, they can produce no children of their own uh, within that marriage. So, you know, they're going to say from their perspective they are being discriminated against. That's evidently what's been happening with the court briefs at the Supreme Court hearing. Uh, they're going on the uh, the angle that they are uh, discriminated against because they're not allowed to get married, you know, married, so to speak. But, uh, hey, if you want to have those that want that, you know, uh, partnerships or whatever, you know, go for it. But, uh, hell, make up your own definition for it. Don't call it marriage. Call it something you want to call it. Uh, what it really boils down to, in my opinion, is that uh, the uh, couples that want this type of union 
uh, outside of the traditional normal marriage, uh, historical marriage definition. It, uh, it's generated from money, the angle on money, of course. Uh, they want to be able to uh, have the legal status of a married man and woman uh, for uh, financial gain through the relationship. Uh, you know, social security benefits, uh, inheritance, stuff of that nature. Uh, and I'm sure there's a lot more financial interest in it as well. Not just those two items, but, uh, there again, that's just my opinion on it. And, uh, <laughs> I'll reiterate, I am a firm believer that marriage is one man and one woman and nothing else, period. Uh, put your comments down. Let me know what you think of the topics I've brought up. I'm really interested in knowing if any of you have noticed this phenomena about the mainstream media using the word wake or awake or waking up, you know, something of that nature. Um, because... I don't. It's, they they really don't go on to give any information that would make you wake up. It's all to keep you inserted in the matrix, the false uh, reality that they've constructed around. It's the mind control. Uh, they're just up in their game on a little bit. Because, uh, in my opinion, to be awake, there's a few things that have to happen for you. Uh, watershed events that you have to understand would be the JFK assassination. Uh, for instance, that definitely uh, was not carried out by uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. You have to understand that. That's not who killed Kennedy. Uh, it's just not. Uh, there's no Even the video evidence refutes that. Uh, and then the 9-11, you know, if you don't understand that 9-11 was done or collaborated uh, with by our own government, uh, since all the circumstances indicate that the uh, NORAD stood down and Cheney pulled the strings on it. So there you go. You know, those are two watershed items that you have to really understand if you're going to consider yourself to be awake. Um, there again, my opinion, but I'm just telling you. Uh, and, and then to see the whole constructs uh, of the world that, uh, you know, I mean, it's controlled by who? Who controls the world? The big banking money, but who controls the big banks? It's just a small group of people that run the whole world, folks, and you should understand that. They don't like us. They don't care for us. We are animals in their view. You know, they, they've got the soft kill going. Uh, they have big corporations that are in on that. you got your GMOs from Monsanto and whatnot. But, you know, these are just some of the watershed things that you have to understand. Uh, in my opinion, to consider yourself awake. But please, leave your comments, let me know your thoughts. Uh, thanks for your time. Have a great evening.